Jeremy Sockman here with one of those movies most people already forgot to remember to forget. This one's been out of the mind of the people since before it was even filmed. It's Daisy Miller starring Sybil Shepherd, dressed up all fancy-like. But is the movie truly fancy or a failure? Let's take a look. Sybil Shepherd plays Daisy Miller, umbrella twirling rich girl in a frilly dress on a tour of Europe with her mom and little brother. She meets bookish expat Frederick Winterborn and they pal around for a while. But wouldn't you know it, old Freddy's falling for her despite the warnings he's given about her manner. What I really think is that you had better not meddle with little American girls who are, as you mildly put it, uneducated. You've lived too long out of the country. You'll be sure to make some great mistake. You're too innocent. Oh, my dear aunt, I'm not too innocent. After a short separation, they hook up again in Rome and see the sights. But uh-oh, that gets the rumor mill flowing. Seems Daisy's also been seen palling around with Mr. Giovanelli. And back in the 1800s, that was enough to cause a scandal. Poor old Winterborn just can't deal with that, and warns Daisy about the dreaded Roman fever when he spots them at the Colosseum one night. Well, uh-oh. Spoiler alert. She catches it and dies, leaving poor Freddy all sad. Why the devil did you take her to that place? For myself, I had no fear. She... Yes? She did what she liked. She did what she liked. Now Daisy Miller might have more lace than you can shake your wagging finger at. It's more than just a boy meets girl, girl dies bittersweet romance. This is a movie with a deep-rooted hatred of flirting. Daisy Miller flirts relentlessly. Sure, she might play dumb, but what she really wants to do is have a man wrapped around her finger. Back in the 1800s, that took a little extra effort than just knocking antlers. People just didn't hop into four-poster beds at the drop of a top hat then, so a girl had to use her wits to bag a man. Daisy teases and hints to Freddy and he falls hook, line, and sinker. But the one thing she never does is tell him how she feels or even kiss him. He's left staring at her with puppy dog eyes and wondering what's going to happen. You're a very nice girl, but I wish you... What? I wish you'd put on love with me. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. But you're the last person I think of flirting with. I told you, you're too stiff. You say that too often. If I thought I could make you angry, I'd say it again. Well, don't. When I'm angry, I'm stiffer than ever. Well, I'd like to see that. And hey... She is pretty cute, but what's not cute is what old PDB is trying to tell us with this one. Daisy Miller's entire plot wants women to know that flirting without some lovin' is pretty much the worst thing they can do. Men need to know what you're thinking. After all, they can't read minds. They're practically from different planets. I don't want you to come for your aunt. I want you to come just for me. All right. At any rate, I will certainly come. By having Daisy die horribly from malaria at the end, this movie wants women to know what kind of fate they deserve should they play coy and not put out. I guess the writer of this one, Henry James, just did not dig when the ladies played hard to get. He wanted them loose as a baby stool. I'd enjoy that. Oh. You think so? So in the end, if you think a little flirting can be cute and that it's okay not to just drop trow and get twerking at the first opportunity, you're going to have a hard time with this one. I'm Jeremy Sockman, and I'm giving the no poker face allowed movie that is Daisy Miller a hard pass. I've noticed you, but then I noticed you were as stiff as a ramrod the first time I ever saw you. Well, you'll find I'm not half as stiff as the mothers. How will I? Try going to see them. What will they do to me? They'll give you the cold shoulder. Do you know what that means? She can't.